For decades, astronomers have searched the skies for signs of visitors from beyond our solar system. Most of what we see are comets and asteroids formed in our own planetary neighborhood, circling the sun in familiar paths. But sometimes, something unusual arrives, something not bound to our star. These interstellar travelers carry chemical clues, physical properties, and orbital paths that can't be explained by local origins. They are rare, they are puzzling, and they force scientists to reconsider what they know about how planets and stars form. The first such object to draw worldwide attention was discovered in 2017, a long cigar-shaped body named Oumuamua. Its strange acceleration and shape triggered years of debate. Two years later, in 2019, astronomers detected another, a comet known as 2i slash Borisov. Both gave hints of the unknown, but they also raised new questions. Why did one look rocky while the other looked like an ordinary comet? Why don't we see more of them if interstellar space is filled with debris? Now, in 2025, a third traveler has entered the scene, and it may be the strangest one yet. Named 3i slash ATLAS, this object has already unsettled astronomers because of its unusual behavior and sheer size. Its discovery has sparked new debates, not just about comets and asteroids, but about the possibility of phenomena never before considered. Some researchers even suggest it might not be a natural object at all. Interstellar objects like 3i slash ATLAS are rare messengers from other star systems, carrying clues about how worlds form across the galaxy. Studying them lets us explore distant chemistry and physics without leaving our solar system. If you want to keep up with more discoveries like this, don't forget to subscribe. On July 1, 2025, the NASA-funded Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, identified a faint moving dot in the sky. Its path was quickly confirmed to be hyperbolic, meaning it was not orbiting the sun but instead passing through on a one-way journey. This made it only the third known interstellar comet ever found. Almost immediately, telescopes around the world turned to track it. 3i slash ATLAS is unlike anything seen before. Part rocky like Oumuamua, part icy like Borisov, yet not fully matching either. Its highly eccentric orbit, about 6.1, sends it speeding through the solar system unbound to the sun. In October 2025, it will pass inside Mars's orbit, about 270 million kilometers from Earth. No threat, but a rare opportunity for study. 3i slash ATLAS entered our solar system at speeds exceeding 152,000 miles per hour, far greater than the escape velocity required to break free of the sun's gravity. Its trajectory shows it came from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, near the galactic center of the Milky Way, before cutting across our system toward interstellar space once again. Through telescopes like Hubble, the object appears not as a sharp point, but as a hazy glow surrounded by a faint coma, a cloud of gas and dust released as ice warms near the sun. This would normally make it a straightforward comet. However, several features stand out. Unlike typical comets that produce long, sweeping tails of dust stretching behind them, the dust around 3i slash ATLAS clings close, forming a glowing spherical halo. Instead of trailing debris over millions of kilometers, the material remains within a region only a few thousand kilometers across. This contradicts much of what astronomers expect from cometary activity. Another odd detail is its brightness. Even when 490 million kilometers from Earth, 3i slash ATLAS shone unusually bright, suggesting either a reflective surface or a much larger size than its coma implied. Early estimates placed its nucleus somewhere between 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers wide, with many scientists favoring a size under one kilometer. Yet based on brightness, some measurements suggested it could be up to 20 kilometers across, far larger than either of the two earlier interstellar visitors. The dust cloud surrounding 3i slash ATLAS is thin but persistent. It consists of micron-sized grains, smaller than a grain of sand, escaping the nucleus at about 20 meters per second. 
This speed is much faster than the comet's rotation, which completes a spin in about 16 hours. Interestingly, the dust density follows an inverse square law, thinning dramatically with distance. By 3,000 kilometers from the nucleus, the density has dropped by a factor of 90,000. Unlike ordinary comet tails, the flow of dust does not extend indefinitely into space. Instead, after about 3,000 kilometers, the particles are stopped by existing interplanetary dust. The solar system is filled with tiny debris known as zodiacal dust, left behind by generations of comets and asteroids. The interaction between the comet's outflow and this background dust halts the spread, creating a confined, glowing halo rather than a trailing tail. Adding complexity, these dust grains are electrically charged. This means they interact not just with sunlight, but also with electromagnetic forces in space, producing a dynamic and constantly shifting environment. To sustain this glow, 3I-ATLAS must lose about 10 kilograms of material per second, roughly the mass of a small car disappearing every second. Another puzzle is its reddish glow. The halo is too thin to block much light, meaning the color largely comes from the surface itself. This reddish tint is similar to distant Kuiper Belt objects like Arakoth, which have surfaces altered by long exposure to cosmic rays and solar radiation. Such coloration suggests that 3I-ATLAS has traveled through interstellar space for millions or even billions of years, its surface slowly modified by the harsh environment. Yet when astronomers analyzed the spectrum of light from the coma, they found almost no signs of common comet gases like water vapor or carbon dioxide. Instead, most of the signal came from sunlight reflecting off dust or the solid surface. This lack of gas emissions is highly unusual for an active comet nearing the sun. Some scientists, including Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, argue that its surface reflects light more like certain rocky asteroids than icy comets. If that is true, the visible coma may not be produced by water ice at all, but by another, less familiar process. This debate is at the heart of why 3I-ATLAS is seen as so mysterious. If 3I over ATLAS is indeed close to 20 kilometers wide, it is far larger than its predecessors. Oumuamua was only a few hundred meters across, while Borisov's nucleus measured a few kilometers at most. By comparison, 3I-ATLAS would be 100 to 200 times bigger than Oumuamua, and up to 100 times larger than Borisov's core. In terms of mass, it could outweigh Oumuamua by a factor of more than 10 million. For perspective, the asteroid that struck Earth 66 million years ago, ending the age of the dinosaurs, was estimated at 10 kilometers wide, only about half the potential size of 31-ATLAS. Such a large interstellar object challenges models of how often giant bodies should be ejected from other star systems. Current theories suggest large interstellar comets should be extremely rare, forming only once every 10,000 years or so. Yet here one is passing through in our own time. Since its discovery, studies of 3I-ATLAS have produced contradictory results. Some telescopes confirm a coma and classify it as an active comet. Others point out the lack of gases and the asteroid-like surface. This conflict mirrors the debates surrounding Oumuamua in 2017, where no single explanation could account for all observed behavior. What is clear is that 3I-ATLAS is racing through the solar system at tremendous speed on a one-way hyperbolic path. Once it passes perihelion in October 2025, it will swing around the sun and head back into interstellar space never to return. For scientists, this creates a limited window to observe and collect data before the opportunity is gone. The detection of 3I-ATLAS underscores how little we know about the population of interstellar objects. The first two, Oumuamua and Borisov, were both small. Models predicted such small bodies should be far more common than large ones, yet now we have found a giant. This suggests our estimates of how material is ejected from forming star systems may be incomplete. Perhaps large objects are more common than thought, or perhaps detection bias has hidden them until now.
Equally important, the unusual dust behavior of 3I-ATLAS shows that processes beyond familiar cometary physics are at play. Whether due to unusual composition, unique structure, or something else entirely, its study will expand our understanding of how solid bodies behave in space. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.